this lecture we will learn more about the apex ripple debugger this is the tool and this is a very good tool for the debugging purpose debug your single line of code or as well full whole file of the apex class or it can be anything you can debug so here so how to check that some prerequisite before starting this apex ripple debugger first is first of all you have to check under the launch.json file under the launch.json file you can see launch apex ripple debugger if you see this kind of statement well and good if you don't see anywhere this one so you can write this configuration first of all so this is first things first so i already created one class so let me show you and we can debug step by step let me open that class here and this is the apex ripple debugger class here under this class i have created one method that is called get full name and we have three variables so under this three variables if you want to execute this method so i'm trying to get full name and also let me add this system dot debug so it's a system dot debug system dot debug and let me try to add something let's say this one and here now full name i need full name and let me save it so i'm trying to print the full name under line number 13 so the second step is first step you have to configure this launch.json file second step is you have to add breakpoints that is called checkpoints here so how to do that so here under the line number 10 11 and 12 also 13 i want to make it some you know like uh, checkpoints so how to make it the checkpoints first is you have to to execute this command control shift p and search toggle checkpoints in the command palette so once you type this toggle checkpoints before that you have to press that particular lines like this you have to move your mouse that particular line and then you can press control shift p and then you have to select this toggle checkpoints here you can observe a small icon is coming here that is called expression or checkpoint so you have to right click and added breakpoints so i already added that is called checkpoints that's why you can see this one also you can you can add the more checkpoints so you have to click on this line and again you have to press this one toggle checkpoints it's coming here also let me check it's already added here if you didn't see like added uh, added breakpoints so you have to add it you have to add it now let me add the checkpoints for the line number uh, 12 as well so let me toggle that one now you can see this one right click it's already added let me add the another checkpoints under the line number 13 so how to do that just here you have to toggle it and under here in the expression under the expression let me check checkpoints is already added so once you done this second step this checkpoints you have to update these checkpoints into the org as well so how to do that you have to execute this command control shift p and just update checkpoints in the org this command sfdx update checkpoints in the org so just execute this command now you can see some process is going on in the bottom like this so some here you can see checkpoints is clearing and is successfully retrieving or updating into the org so now you can see confirming successful checkpoints is creation so how to check this checkpoints is coming into the org in that particular files or not so let me open my org under this org here you can see the class let me refresh this one if you didn't see anywhere in this class any checkpoints so you have to refresh it first now finally you can see the breakpoints line number 10 11 12 and 13 right but uh, it's not deploy into the source code that's why 
so let me deploy this code first of all in the org and definitely you will be see uh, this kind of uh, breakpoints here so let me deploy it let me open here the apex class that is called apex replay debugger let me double click it now finally you can see the breakpoints here line number 10 11 12 and 13 based on our code in vs code as well so that means uh, our breakpoints successfully added into the org as well so now you can see the red bloods here means this is the breakpoints so how to execute this one let me show you so we can execute this one with the help of anonymous window so let me execute first of all this class and this method so we can execute this method with the help of class name because it's a static method so just paste it use the method name here like this and just click on this execute and now you can see process is going on click on this debug now you can see the full name that is called Rohit Kumar so how to check this Apex replay debugger under the VS code so let me open my VS code and you will be see the Apex replay debugger first so before that this is the second step we already done now third step is you have to turn on the Apex replay debugger so control shift P and you have to turn on Apex replay debugger so just click on this turn on Apex replay debugger once you turn on this Apex replay debugger then you will be see some kind of logs otherwise you will not see so here in the output I will show you the outputs of this debug log for the replay debugger so just see here some process is going on so once it will done definitely we will see here just focus on that one Apex code you can see that de debug log as a debug level finest visual force finer right so based on these things we can also recognize right so now let me do that one thing how to get these logs from the org to this vs code so just you have to press ctrl shift p and just search here get apex repacks debug logs so just you have to execute this command so once you execute this command now you can see lots of logs here so our motive is or our debug is related to the this log anonymous right so let me execute this one or let me select this file and now you can see the whole file outputs in the vs code that is called file with dot extension right so this is the things here and also you can find out here for the apex visual force page finer and for the apex you can see here that is called apex finest and uh, visual force page finer so how to execute this one so in this let me show you the another things so in we in this developer console we have some problem what problem you cannot execute line by line code here you cannot see the variable outputs line by line that is the problem in under the developer console so how how to come over this problem we can cover this problem with the help of this one that is called apex replay debugger log files so how to execute so once you find out this log you have to execute one another command this is the fourth step control shift p and just so this is the command that is called sfdx launch apex replay debugger with last log so our last log this one so let me execute this command so now you can see here this is the log and also you can find out this log here ied ied dot log and this is the currently uh, logged right so you have to select this file and once you select it now first time it'll, it will take some time after that it's execute line by line so now you can see here it's execute here just focus on that one it's automatic having this uh, symbols I will show you one by one don't worry so just focus on that one so first is the continue so in the apex just focus on that one in the apex we have 
line number 10 11 12 13 some break points so i i want to check these variables having some value or not with the help of this apex replay debugger so just you have to click on this continue now you can see the control is comes under the line number 10 automatically again you have to execute this one so if you want to check the first name at the runtime you can mouse over as well so you can see the rohit is coming also you can check the your variable under the local variable here same thing you can apply for second one last name you can see the last name and also last name right here you can check the last name as well and same thing full name right now is control here in the line number 12 that's why you cannot see any output because of it's this line is not execute yet so now let me execute this line and finally you can see the full name Rohit Kumar also you can see the local variable here let me execute again and in this system dot debug you can check the full name everything here so that is the way to launch the apex replay debugger also you can launch from here as well just click on this one launch apex replay debugger and just you have to check your files from here this is the logs right so you have to fetch the last log and you can execute this one once you've done these things you have to turn off this apex replay debugger so let me turn off this apex replay debugger because it's taking some memory spaces or maybe like system cpu resources so just always use this apex replay debugger once you need it otherwise you can turn off this that's all in this session i will see you in the next one